Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back with a guide on the most effective way to gather cementing paste. Now I'm using the island map as the example as I feel it's probably the hardest place to gather cementing paste. I'm currently doing my playthrough and we've reached scorched earth and I can just go out into the desert and there's lots of mantas and scorpions so I'm going to use the island map as the first example. Okay, so let's start with the mortar and pestle. This is going to be the first way you're going to be able to craft cementing paste. It is a slow process and it requires quite a lot of materials. Eight stone to either four chitin or keratin per one cementing paste. And as you can see, just in order to craft 12 here, it's going to take quite a bit of time and cost quite a lot of resources. As soon as you can, if you can upgrade to the chemistry bench, I highly recommend it. Not only does it craft it in seconds, it also saves a third on the cost of resources. So I'd argue it's even more important to get this up and running, even over the industrial forge or cooker. Just turn it on. And there we go. So upgrade to the chemistry bench as soon as possible. You're going to be saving a third on the cost of your resources and that's going to make a great difference throughout your playthrough. You don't want to be crafting it in the mortar and pestle for too long. But other ways we can get cementing paste early game, especially on the island map, is via the beaver dams. Now there's five locations where the beaver dams spawn on the island map, so I'm going to point them out and we'll make our way over to one of them and uh, gather some cementing paste from one of the dams. Okay, so here we are at a beaver dam. If we just go inside here, you can see there's plenty of cementing paste and wood, but we don't want to transfer all because we're going to get over encumbered. And the second we take something out, as you can see, the beavers are aggroing on us. They don't like us raiding their little dams. Let's just get rid of this piranha. So approach these with caution, and whatever you do, you don't want to transfer everything in like this because you're going to be encumbered and you're going to be stuck there. But you do need to empty the dams completely. We just come over to this other dam over here. You can see that I've taken some cementing paste out about half an hour ago and it doesn't spawn back. So you need to empty these entirely kill the beavers and then they will spawn back. In fact it's one of my real pet hates especially on servers. If you're playing on a server with other people make sure you destroy that dam. Don't be the person who just leaves the wood. You eat the skin off of every piece of chicken! Well I saved you out of the chicken part. The skin's the best part. Empty everything, kill everything and it'll all spawn back and you can get plenty of cement in place that way. Okay, so let's move on to some effective ways to gather and farm chitin and keratin. Now I'm going to start with the artifact of the Clever Cave, or also known as the Center Cave, just at the bottom of the volcano. This place has plenty of spiders, and if you take yourself a saber in here, you're going to gather a lot of chitin and keratin. Of course you could do this on a wolf as well and a few other dinos would be quite good in this cave but I find the sabre gathers quite a lot of chitin, chitin and keratin and this one I've just grabbed so it hasn't got many levels on it yet but once you've run this cave once and got a, a reasonable level on your sabre it's an effective way to just run in here and let's just check just right at the entrance here oh. So we've got a good 500 chit in there. So there's a couple of explorer notes in here. If you grab them while you're on your dino, your dino is also going to benefit from the levels. But yeah, pump a little bit of health, a little bit of melee. And this cave is a great run for farming chitin and keratin.
So moving on to the Swamp Cave or the Artifact of the Immune Cave. This place is going to be a little bit harder to navigate. You're going to need some scuba gear in order to go in here because there's a poisonous gas. Now you can craft the gas mask but unfortunately it takes absorbent substrate and that takes black pearls and on the island map black pearls are really rare. You want to keep them for when you get to your tech tier. Every single one of them is going to count so I personally do this on scuba gear and you need almost a complete set. You can wear a pair of gloves. I think you might be able to wear a pair of shoes as well but the rest has to be scuba. Now we're taking the frog inside this cave. I'm just going to come in the entrance here and just show you. We get loads of megaloana and loads of bugs and insects. And as you can see, on the left hand side, the frog's currently gathering cementing paste from all of these insects. It actually makes it as you kill all of these creatures. Not only that, it also grabs the chitin and chitin as well. So taking a world level frog into the swamp cave is an absolute fantastic way to gather cement in paste. In fact, all of your cement in paste worries are going to be fixed. So we've just come in the front entrance here and look at that. We've got over 500 cement in paste already. So the swamp cave is by far the best way to gather cement in paste on a farming run. And in case you didn't know, you can also pick up a small dinosaur in the Argentavis beak as well as with its claws. So you could come out and grab two snails. I only found one on this run. But in order to tame the snail, you're going to need veggie cakes. And veggie cakes are a little bit late game. You're going to need the greenhouse veggies naturally. But you also need tree sap. And the way to gather that on the island map is from a tapping into one of the redwood trees and you're also going to need honey. So veggie cakes are definitely a later game crafting item. So let's put this guy in with the rest of my snails. This is my Akatina farm and as you can see I've got a few more of these guys. Now the great thing about the snails is they just craft cementing paste in their inventory. Well, it's called Akatina paste but it's the same thing. They also craft a little bit of organic polymer and they craft Akatina paste at a rate of one per minute. So I've got five snails now. So that's 500 every time I come in here and empty it. Now if you're going to pump levels into anything on these guys, it may as well be food. Unfortunately, they still require the veggie cakes in order to keep alive. So as you can see, I'm going to have to do that. But if I pump a few levels into them, get them fed up, it will mean I'll have to do it less over time and move out of the way. So there you have it. I've given you quite a few options there, especially if you're on the island map and how you gather cementing paste. Now I myself am doing a complete run of ARC. We're going to complete the whole game and the, all of the DLC and I'm currently on Scorched Earth. So we can't tame the snails out on the Scorched Earth map but I can go out into the desert and kill plenty of mantas and scorpions and I noticed while I was doing a little bit of research on this just to see if there was anything I was missing myself that the Equus actually has an 80% reduction on the weight cost. So I was kind of thinking it might be a good idea to tame one. It has a natural mortar and pestle in its saddle and perhaps go out with a pack of wolves and I can craft it as I go along. So there's an option for scorched earth and uh, something I need to be thinking about. Don't forget to check out my playlist for Complete the Arc if you're interested in that run. Let me know in the comments if there's any other guides you'd be interested to see me make. Subscribe if you're new here and you'd like to see more content from myself. I do plenty of other guides and as I mentioned we're currently on Scorched Earth in my quest to complete Arc Survival Evolved and all of its DLC. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.